now that I have a or now that I have the work structure installed I need to create a project uh, the easiest way to do that is to copy the project template to wherever you keep your projects uh, you need to decide where you're going to keep the projects it doesn't matter where you place them you can always redirect the work structure to go anywhere uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to create a folder underneath uh, projects, and I'm going to call this AEC underscore projects. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the template and paste it into the AEC projects folder. Once I've copied it there, the next thing to do is rename it. Um, I'll just call this demo project. And I'm going to copy this name so that I make sure I get it right. The next step you have to do is go into the projects folder in the work structure, copy the project template PCF file to the same folder, rename it to the same name as the folder that you created for your project and then edit this file. Notice it says do not edit. Well this do not edit means do not edit the template. What this is is the file that I'm working in now so I can edit the file that I'm working in now. The top part is just some information, but what you really need to do is scroll down here and look at this project name. And right here you want to put in the same name. After that you can put in a description, and this can be anything. So demo project is a demonstration of creating a project. It really doesn't matter what you put in the description. You really want to use that to tell yourself or others in the future where this is or what this project is. Uh, the next thing you want to do is come in and find the most appropriate uh, method for uh, setting the project's root. By default, USTN project root is set to the same place that the template project is, but for this example, the project's root is actually in AEC projects. So I'm going to edit that line so that the work structure points to my project. The next thing is whether or not you want to rename the project data folder. If you look inside of the project data folder, there is this project data uh, folder. <laughs> and it essentially has the, or that is essentially there for people who use the project wise collaboration model. Uh, if you look at where the folder should be for the project-wise collaboration, it is a slightly different name. Some districts will uh, use the correct folder name for that or rename project data. You can leave project data the same name, but if you change the name of project data, make sure you change it appropriately in the line inside of the PCF file. Uh, beyond that, the rest of these things are pretty much open. MSDEF will be the place that MicroStation will open up to when you pick the project. By default, it's set to the CAD BIM folder. The, uh, you also have the ability or the settings inside of here to set whether or not this project is DWG work mode or if it's a metric project. For this demonstration, I'm just going to assume that it's Imperial and DGN. Uh, if you're going to do DWG, there's probably a better way to do it than this one, and I'll explain that in another video later. 
and down here at the bottom if you have an extension which is another video you might need to put it in someplace to tell MicroStation to load your lo own local extension. Uh, we create one that uses a local extension .cfg and that one automatically gets loaded so you won't need to rename that but all you need to do then is save this file close it and then what you want to do is check to see if it's working and you check that by opening MicroStation and looking to see if your project is here, demo project is here, and if you pick that, it should take you to that project's CAD BIM folder. If it did, your PCF file is working. 